Now, let's hear some of the sound from uh, this man I interviewed, Mike. Uh, we were just at the concert there, and Jason Aldean was playing, and uh, kind of sounded like some fireworks going off. And then uh, I think there was like the first kind of volley, and then all of a sudden the second volley, my buddy's like, I just got hit, you know, and uh, got hit three times. And then people started diving for the ground, and it just continued, and it was pretty much chaotic. Um, uh, lots of people got hit, lots of people were getting... Uh, it, it took a while to get him out. We had to get him over the fence and hiding under the stage for a while, you know, to be safe. And finally we had to move him because he had three chest wounds. And uh, got him out here. We got four people in the back of a truck, but then we got turned around because there was an active shooter. So we couldn't go down the street. So we finally got an ambulance right here on this, this right across the street here. And uh, uh, got two of the guys in. And basically the one guy ended up dying in my arms because he, uh, he was bleeding. And my buddy got in there. We got three more people on the ambulance and so they but well, I just got a message my buddy is going to be okay so I mean I'm the guy who got hit three times is going to be okay yeah perhaps a small silver lining tonight and right now in the background you may be able to hear ambulances and fire engines moving towards the scene this is still very much an active scene right now um you can see the the police checkpoint behind me people are congregating around here uh trying to figure out what went on also they're being blocked from going towards the strip that's where their hotels are there's another fire and rescue ambulance going towards the scene. Um, this is probably going to be happening through the night. Um, and what you heard from Mike is also how chaotic the scene was. It took a while to evacuate the wounded because that gunfire seemed to be going on for a significant period of time, certainly long enough to pin police down and to make them fear that there may be multiple shooters. Also, many of the officers out here, not all of them have ARs. Many of them just have uh, semi-automatic pistols, and you can't go up against someone who's armed with an automatic rifle or an assault rifle when you have uh, a pistol. So the police weren't really it seems capable of, of moving in that quickly to take this person down, but I imagine the tactical teams did move in quickly enough. We do have it confirmed right now that a shooter is down. Again, we don't know how many shooters there were, but we know at least one of the shooters from tonight's attack uh, appears to be down. That according to the Las Vegas Police Department. So hopefully this event is over right now, but clearly the cleanup and the investigation is going to last for many hours, possibly days. Hopefully there aren't any more wounded who've been scattered about or taken to other locations to try to seek shelter and now need immediate uh, medical assistance. Hopefully all of those people have been picked up and evacuated to the hospital.